Hey everyone, Jen Henry here, Slingshot Futures Trading Group. Thanks for joining me in today's video. Before we start, take a second to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to click the notification bell icon so you don't miss our next live stream right here on YouTube every afternoon at 1530 Eastern Time. Also, don't forget your free morning brief that's waiting for you over at sfftg.com slash brief. That way you can be sure you're loaded up with the major levels of interest for the day, as well as the morning charts and a couple things to get you going on the right foot. Now, maybe you're looking to get filled in ahead of time with a video-based game plan every morning, every week, every month. Then you can take a look at the join button below the video to gain access to our SSFTG briefings. And if you want to get into the action when things are really rocking and rolling, you can check out the live analysis room for the New York Stock Exchange Open. Today, we're going to be going a little bit of a different approach, and we're going to be looking at three of my all-time favorite books when it comes to trading. When we're coming around the holiday seasons, when we're coming around the time when we've got a little bit of downtime because of the holidays, this is a great time to start looking for ways to increase your knowledge in the markets even though you're not really going to be able to participate in them much because they're too slow. So these are definitely my top three. And, and basically, if you haven't read these books, your trading knowledge has gaps. Uh, the first book is, of course, none other than Trading in the Zone. Uh, trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. This really digs into the mental side of trading and understanding who you are as a trader. Uh, it goes over the seven major beliefs to form consistency, what common problems traders have and will have, like failure year to take responsibility. Uh, on the other side of that, it also goes into taking responsibility and how, how you can develop a mind for probabilities. The second book and a really, really interesting one is The Reminiscence of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lafarve. And I apologize if I slaughtered that last name. Uh, I, I think I, I said it right. Regardless, uh, in this, it follows the loose depiction of Jesse Livermore uh, with the character Jerry Livingston. Kind of kind of interesting name combos there. Uh, pushing through setbacks and, determ and his determination to be successful. Uh, through the journey, that's where he goes in and he meets all kinds of really interesting characters characters and other traders and, and different strategies. And it, it really goes into about, you know, being too aggressive with too little patience and how that can really rip you apart. It's a very, very interesting book uh, and something that I think everybody should read at least once. And then the final one, the third book in the list is The Master Swing Trader by Alan Farley. Uh, this is a, a, a very technical playbook of sorts. Uh, it covers some observations that most traders should know, like how markets often print highs or lows near lunch, or uh, covering things like cross-market relationships or options expiration opportunities. There's a lot of really cool things in this one. And it also covers things like stock filtering or counter trend trading tips. And, and tons of other things. Definitely one that I think deserves a spot in the top three. Uh, it's a fantastic book. And I think if you haven't added it to your arsenal already, it's definitely something that you should consider doing. So those are my top three books. There are tons of other ones that I missed, and I'm sure this list could be a hundred spots long. Uh, what books do you love and recommend? You should post them in the comments. I would love to hear from them. Maybe that'll give me, uh, you know, maybe that will give me something to read over the holidays. Uh, as always, links for the three books that I talked about are below in the description area. I hope you enjoy uh, these three. And if you haven't read them already, I definitely suggest that you do. They're worth the time investment in them. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. I hope you found it useful, interesting, entertaining. And maybe you found some books that you want to add to your shopping list for this holiday season. Uh, as always, enjoy. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.